Sometimes I'm slightly baffled by the idea that in a lot of cases people will not pay attention to your ideas unless they have some kind of a physical, practical application in the world around us. And yet, at the end of the day, we all have things totally unrelated to the physical world that captivate our attention in one way or another. I mean, you have people who really like movies, people who like video games, people who like books, people who like all these sorts of things that have absolutely no relation to anything physical. They're a way to stretch out the mind and keep the mind limber in ways, but they barely scratch the surface of the kinds of things like... of the. But basically, they're scratching the surface of infinite possibility, and like you can see how far people are going. People will like delve in to like uh, I don't know, you know, any work of fiction like uh, Lord of the Rings. Like <laughs> if you've ever like taken a look at just how in depth Tolkien went into that, and the more in depth all those things get, and you realize that depth is still only the tiniest scrapings off the surface of anything that can be, like, infinite possibility. And infinite possibility, the source of that, is God. So, basically, the necessity for a lot of people who want a practical application for every thought that comes out of someone's head, and who will just be like, okay, well, you know, this is nice and all, but what's the point, kind of thing. And it's like, I don't really know how to say it other than I pity someone who does not have a fascination with imagination for imagination's sake. And a lot of people might dis like misunderstand what I mean when I say imagination. When I say imagination, what I mean is basically tapping in to the ways that your mind can truly work, the true heights and the true depths, just like to plumb all the secrets of what is in infinite possibility. And the only way to truly plumb the secrets of infinite possibility are to go into it with absolutely no boundaries and no preconceptions of anything that is impossible. The only way that I know of how to do this, that I have ever found, is to have God. To seek out God. To contemplate God. And then anything is possible. And no idea is too far-fetched, no idea is too bizarre, no imagining is beyond a person's apprehension in their mind and in their heart and in their soul, because it unfetters the mind from any preconceptions about the physical world or everything. When you contemplate God, when a person meditates on God and what God means for the world, absolutely any kind of thought can enter into their mind and that kind of freeformity of thought can bring the answer to any question that anyone has and this is part of what we call the holy spirit of christ is total freeform thought to surrender all preconception to surrender all barriers and all all ideas of this is a thing that cannot be because because when you surrender to the idea the holy spirit of christ that comes with all things are possible through god your mind can think around corners and move around barriers that would stump the greatest of geniuses not through discipline of yourself but through accepting of that which is endless and boundless and infinite. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You have a blessed day.